Welcome back. Time is running out for a group of adults in their 50s and 60s known collectively as the Hicks babies. Hicks for the small town Georgia doctor who delivered and secretly sold the babies to adoptive families. Some of those babies ended up here in Northeast Ohio where they remain close. Channel 3's Monica Robbins reports they are bonded by hope and one last chance to find their birth parents. <laughs> McKaysville, Georgia is a slice of small town Americana, a sweeping Blue Ridge landscape flowing toward a bustling downtown where everyone knows everyone. I don't see how you could find it any more peaceful. I, I never see anything ugly here. Yet behind those Rockwellian images, McKaysville clung for years to a dark secret. I think he was a good man. As I say, not perfect but a good man. Pizza and tax work are delivered here now, but for a decade, beginning in the mid 1950s, town doctor Thomas Hicks delivered babies from this nondescript building. At the back door alley, adoptive families swooped in, paid Doc Hicks and drove away, back to some 200 homes across the country. And for several dozen families to America's rubber capital, Akron. Never has been black market babies. On Mother's Day 1997, McKaysville's secret was exposed. Granddaughter Sally Sumperak remembers. He was a good man, a good hearted man. He would do anything for anybody. Sometimes he paid a price for it. 25 years after his death, infamy was Hicks Price. It was a brick wall. Nobody wanted to help us at all. Today, the Hicks babies remain close, bound by a common thread, finding their roots before time takes its toll. Their last hopes cling to the genealogical DNA, the kind used to ID the Golden State Killer and unmask other cold cases. My mom took me for a car ride and just stopped and um, proceeded to tell me that even though she loved me, she was not my real mom, and uh, that I had come from a clinic in Georgia. Melinda Dawson is considered the leader of the so-called Hicks babies. Born in 1963, she was one of the last. I'm one of the only ones that was sold for a thousand. She's also the group's top sleuth, and for good reason. Melinda garnered international acclaim more than a decade ago, solving her adoptive mother's murder with DNA, proof that also exonerated her former husband, Clarence Elkins. And this one kills me, I can't solve it right now. Here your DNA. Once again, she's relying on DNA testing, but this time to steer her and other Hicks babies to their birth parents. Dr. Hicks kept no records. This was not a traditional um, adoption. Indeed, Hicks signed birth certificates noting only the adoptive parents' names. He died with his secrets. I think he was thinking of doing a good thing that he was uh, giving these mothers you know, the freedom of not ever having to worry about a child came, coming back and say, hey, I'm your kid. Diane Conrad is one of those kids, delivered by Hicks in 1957. She's grasping to one last glimmer seeking her family to finally know who she looks like or what traits they share. All my life I felt like kind of like I was just dropped here, you know, and I have all these people around me. They're my family, but they're not my blood related family. Some Hicks babies have found their birth families, many through internet ancestry sites. As a group, they remain close on Facebook and reunions. There's no other way to describe it. We're all in the same boat. And so we have become that de facto family that um, I think Dr. Hicks never thought we would be.